Hey, it's Tom from Tom's Tunes. I'm here with this 2004 Tahoe, slightly neglected, but we're gonna bring it right back up to modern speed. This boat's getting new railings, new deck boards, new vinyl flooring. About the only thing that's gonna stay are the pontoons. This rub rail is in good shape. The corner caps are in good shape. Uh, everything else is going on it. If you take a peek just from the outside, this is what happens when a boat is uncovered. It's exposed to the elements. We get the, the wear pattern on the carpet where people are constantly walking. We get the moss on the outside. Again, this boat has risers to hopefully let air in and out and dry out the carpet, but it just can't keep up. This carpet is too plush. It just held too much moisture for too long. Let's go inside and look at these seats and the layout. These seats, they're a modern style seat. We've got a lean back, we've got a wide radius corner, but as you can see, the sun got to the vinyl, some critters got to the foam. These are falling apart. These pretty much go into the dump at this point. There's not much we can do with these. You know, they don't even have a plastic bottom, they just have aluminum bases. So, not worth recovering. These, unfortunately, got to go to the dump. If you come in, you can see what color the carpet was at one point so before it got all stained and everything this for some reason this carpet's in much better shape we're going to stick with a similar layout a couple seats up front lean back into a owl couch in the back we'll have a table and a sun deck we'll have a stern entry door as well it's getting a new console standard console so that will be going on here new captain's chair everything's going to be different heavy duty bimini but well, we gotta start first by tearing it apart, get it down to the bare aluminum so we can put new deck boards on, that vinyl. Then we get to the fun stuff of decorating it out with new seats and everything else. This boat, it's all self-tapping screws. So if we look underneath here, that's the head of a self-tapper. It's so funny, because this looks like it's in great shape because even though it's gotten wet over the years, it's been able to dry out. But on top, this is what we're dealing with. It's a rusted, corroded, and it's actually a star bit. So a T25 star bit. But they don't always come out. So, our next step from here, you could take an angle grinder and go in from the side. It's a pain in the neck. The best route that we found to take is taking about a one inch hole saw and just getting it to bite into that plywood. Luckily the plywood's usually pretty soggy, pretty soft. But once you get it biting in, we can work that down just till we hit the cross member. And then what we're gonna do when we pull this board off this little plug, if you look, you go ahead and do that again, Marty. He can lift that board right up, but what's going to be left is this little plug. And then what we'll have to do is go around with the angle grinder and cut the plugs flush with our channel. That's what we found to be the fastest. Whatever bolts aren't coming out or self-tapping screws aren't coming out, we're going to go ahead and just hole saw around them and then take an extra step to zip them with the angle grinder. And then the boards will come off. So all of our original steering controls, ignition stuff is all run here from the back. We're gonna go ahead, we already ran our wiring harness from pontoon stuff. So my plug-in for the dash is there. We run the power leads, which is a big 
red that's the power supply big ground to the battery there's an orange and brown that's a live well and then this gray and blue is a stern light or anchor light up on the bimini and then a small ground that goes back with our bimini light so that's run back and then forward runs right here as it goes forward there's one big ground that's going to split up front we have a gray with a green stripe that's your navigation lights there are running lights up front and then black with a gray that's our docking lights this orange with a white is a horn if we come up front so everything comes up and it splits here this short side is going to stay on the starboard side of the boat the other side runs across to the port side and will be wired in for those lights and like i said our ground splits so that everybody gets a ground so kind of complicated looking but really not that bad when you sort it out and you lay everything out especially before we put the deck on we're going to get to decking and vinyling this one right now We are getting to where we are unboxing. We've got a whole stack, this whole stack. And I've already unboxed a bit. Our sun deck is here, which is using the same vinyl from pontoonstuff.com. I just take it to a local upholsterer and he makes me the sun deck. I like to go ahead and I've cut out my speaker holes in the corner seats where speakers are going in the side of the console. And we'll get to the whole console. We've done a whole video where we do the entire console before installing it on the boat. This will be no exception this is that's exactly how we'll do this one steering gauge switch panel everything that's getting this one will actually have a binnacle control mounted up on the side here so we'll do all of that before we mount it up on the boat just makes it easier and the mess that's down here is a lot easier to clean up on the floor than it is in the boat amongst all the brand new things moving right along today is the unbox and get situated day <laughs> 